Hello everybody, my name is Valentina and welcome back to my channel. On today's video we're gonna go through the five golden rules that me and my husband are using for budgeting with a lower income during the coronavirus crisis. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. First of all, I'm not an economist, so I'm not gonna give you any numbers. This is just to give you an idea of how two people, two adults are living in London and budgeting in London with a lower income during this pandemic. Both me and my husband have been put into the four left scheme, which means that we're getting paid 80% of our normal salary. My husband is on actual salary, he gets paid uh, once a month and he's on a fixed salary. I get paid per hour. I work in a restaurant so I get service charge on top of my hourly wage and plus tips. This 80% is on the average hours that I would do but without service charge obviously and without tips. When I saw my first paycheck I had a small heart attack and I started hyperventilating because I realized that we really had to review the whole way that we were budgeting before. I sat down with my husband and together we sort of like stipulated these five rules that we're following during the lockdown. Rule number one, we gave ourselves a realistic budget and I know that it can sound pretty obvious but I realized from previous experiences when it was the two of us at the beginning living together we didn't consider many many things that affected our budgeting but we haven't realized so we were getting to, to the end of the month that we were proper struggling that's what i mean when i say give yourself a realistic budget like don't put extra expenses because there's no point you're gonna feel like you can't cover everything with the income that you have but do not just discard certain things that you know are coming up every single month and you will have to cover them and then you find yourself not being able to cover everything and you're gonna struggle and it's something that gave me so much anxiety back in the days that I cannot even tell you it really like made me realize that I had to revisit the whole way we were budgeting think about everything everything that you spend during the month with this we get to rule number two because the incomes have considerably shrunk you don't realize how much 20 percent is till you actually don't see it in your paycheck at the end of the month what we do we have our standard expenses so expenses that we know we have every single month and that is what we're budgeting right now there's no extra shoes there's no extra makeup there's no extra nothing everything that we're budgeting is groceries rent that is including bills so we don't have to add those on top uh the phones Yogi's kids because he has three kids from a previous marriage and unfortunately Yogi's cigarettes but that is something that I put on the budget because I know he's gonna go and buy them so when I say budget everything that's what I mean even the cigarettes if you're a smoker better not number three I heard a lot about mums especially talking about meal prepping and how much money they saved with meal prepping so I'm not, because now we're at home every day, I don't see the point in meal prepping, but what we do is meal planning. We do the big shopping once a week on a Monday. So what we do on Sunday, we sit down and we go through the whole week and we think about all the food that we're gonna have. So we know that when we're gonna go and do the food shopping on Monday, what we're gonna get is what we're gonna actually eat because what was happening before maybe we had some food in the fridge and because our shifts are so unpredictable sometimes we were wasting so much food that i was actually feeling embarrassed with us being at home every day that's what we do we plan what we're actually gonna eat throughout the week so we buy all the ingredients and all the food that we know we're actually gonna eat because 
literally when you put the food that you didn't need in the bin is like you throw money in the bin and that is just not okay and that takes us to rule number four because of our job again we relate a lot on takeaway food the first time that we did the big food shopping i checked the bill at the end i realized that the whole bill for the food that was gonna last us for the whole week for two of us it was a bit more than double of one meal for the two of us from the takeaway so let me say it again the other way around so maybe it's a bit more understandable so one takeaway meal for the two of us was basically half a little less, less than half of the whole bill for the whole week full of food for two adults after i saw those numbers i realized that there was no way that we were gonna get any takeaway during lockdown especially with the incomes that we have at the moment i'm not a massive fan of being in the kitchen i have like three recipes that I can do properly and those are the things that I feed my husband with he's the one that likes to experiment in the kitchen and likes to do something different once in a while that we perfected our pizza we perfected our stir fry both banging is a bit of a healthier option as well ditching the takeaway that is always for as good as it is because I do miss having my Chinese takeaway or my pizza takeaway or my McDonald's when I get home late. Rule number five. I'm not great at saving money. You can ask whoever you want. I love spending money. I like going and splurging on makeup, shoes, accessories, clothes, handbags. I also know that like when I have my goal, when I'm saving money for something, I do save money. I go hardcore on saving money. I know where to cut corners. All of these things now have been cut. That is how we manage to save a little bit of money right now. But my fifth rule is don't beat yourself up if you see that you cannot save as much money as you were saving before. I knew that I could save a certain percentage of my income before. Now, for as hard as I'm trying, I cannot do that. For as much as I had some expenses cut as travel, that was like more than 42 pounds a week each because we have a certain goal that hopefully we'll be able to achieve soon i can see that i'm not able to save as much money as i was able to do before why i put it as a rule of not beating yourself up for not saving as much money as you were doing before is because i found it very frustrating at the beginning when i was like i'm not putting away enough i'm not putting away enough but then i realized by talking with my husband as well i couldn't cut anymore like if I was cutting more than that we were either stop paying rent and we were ending up in the street I was either cutting my phone but I need my phone for work or we were cutting food but you need to eat as well I had to get in that mindset where I was like okay I'm doing already everything that I can in order to save money considering our incomes right now I think is already a miracle that I managed to have even just a little bit left at the end of the month. We're not struggling, we're making it work. Knowing that I cannot buy certain things that I really, really want to buy, it does bother me, but then I know that we have, we're doing all these. Well, now because we have to, we don't have any other options, but I know we're like cutting all of these corners for something better that hopefully is gonna come soon and i can't wait to talk to you about it and this is it for today's video guys my five golden rules to manage my money our money during lockdown with a lower income i hope you guys found this helpful let me know in the comments down below what is your way of managing your money during this period have a great day stay home stay healthy and i'll see you again soon Mwah. bye